what is going on guys i've got an exciting news for you if you want to use up to four phones as wireless cameras for your live streaming using obs today i'm gonna show you how to do that using an application called iRyan. now i've got another video using the exact same application but for only one camera and one of my subscribers actually reached out to me and told me he was using up to four iPhones, you could use Android, it doesn't matter, to be able to live stream. So that means getting four angles. So right now I don't have four phones, obviously, but I've got my phone here. This is phone number one. And I've got another phone here, number two. And of course, I'm going to show you how to add up to four. So I'm going to demo the whole thing and I'm going to show you the secret on how to do that. And we're starting right now. So what you need to do, the first thing, you're going to go ahead and actually open Google and type in iRyan webcam. And as you can see, mine is showing up already. Choose the first one that is going to appear. So depending on what you're using, either using Mac, Windows, Ubuntu. So personally, I use Windows. So I'm going to go ahead and actually click download. Again, I already have mine downloaded already. And then what we're going to do is we're going to install. Now, I want you to pay attention to this part because it's actually crucial once you click on it it's gonna ask you to accept terms of agreement as always you're gonna click accept however you're gonna have to pay attention to this you can see where here it says number of cameras here right here i wouldn't even look at this thing right here i don't know why it's, they made it this way but it's kind of super hidden nobody knows except this one guy i'm gonna pin in the comment his name of course so you guys, you can say thank you to him. Now you can choose up to four cameras or up to four phones. So what we need to do is I'm going to go ahead and actually choose four. That's the max that you can get and then hit accept and click next and next and next. And it's going to install and then click finish. And then boom, as you can see, is already opened. Camera one available for us. Camera two available for us. Camera three available and camera four available as well which is amazing and you have to make sure your computer and all the phones that you're actually using are connected on the same network now the next step you're gonna go ahead and actually get your phone go to app store or google play and download the iRyan webcam application. Super easy to find. Just type it in in your phone and you're going to be able to find it. Now, you already have mine already installed on this iPhone and this one as well. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and actually open the application. I have the application open on this phone, as you can see. If I go to camera one, as you can see on the screen, I already have a picture. All right. So I can see myself, no problem. That's amazing. That's amazing. And then I'm gonna go to my camera number two, open iRyan and boom, it's ready. So if I go to the application here on my desktop, as you can see, camera one is ready as well. So we got camera one here. I can make it full screen. Again, it's using Wi-Fi. So we got camera iPhone one. We got another iPhone here, angle one. Angle number two, amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and open actually OBS and then we're going to add both cameras in OBS right now. So we're gonna create a scene called iPhone one. All right, and then hit okay. And then we're gonna hit the plus sign and then we're gonna go here to sources and then hit video capture device, call it iRyan one. Okay, that's our source and hit OK in devices. And we're going to go ahead and choose. As you can see, we have all the iRyan cameras available. So we have iRyan webcam, which should be number one. Then we have number two, number three, number four. All right. So you have to be careful here. If you have used iRyan before and it's being used in another scene, it's not going to show up here. You're going to have a hard time actually connecting iRyan 1. In fact, I tried it and did not work the first time because I used it before and it was actually in one of my scenes. So it's not going to show up if you still have kind of active in that scene or in some other sources somewhere in OBS. So you want to make sure this is the only copy that you're using. In that case, it's going to show up here. No problem. That's me. This is this camera right here. Just to be sure you can go to resolution type 
and then you can actually dial in your actual 1920 by 1080p just to make sure obs doesn't guess or anything frame uh, frame rate you can uh use 30 frames per second and that should be it you don't have to do anything else and hit okay and then boom now we have our camera in obs so the next thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and actually add our second camera and then to do that we're gonna go to uh we're gonna go to scenes and then we're gonna create iphone 2 hit okay we're gonna go to uh, sources and then we're gonna go to video capture device and then we're gonna call this one i ryan 2 and then we're gonna hit okay and then for this time for device we're gonna look for iRyan webcam number two resolution type make it custom we choose an 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 frames per second and everything else should stay the way it is so now as you can see i can choose from iphone one which is this one right here and then if i want to go to angle number two i can go ahead and actually choose angle number two again i can go to iphone one and then go to iphone two again you can add up to four cameras or up to four phones which is amazing man i'm super super excited about this application again i encourage you to get the pro version they're not paying me to do any of this but i actually found out that if you get the pro version which is about ten dollars you have more controls over iso shutter speed white balance which is important especially if you're using multiple phones again once you have everything set the only thing i have left is just to hit the stream button depending on where you're gonna be live streaming however this is wireless okay it could be sometimes not 100 percent reliable especially if this is maybe your main angle but guess what i have another video that i made that shows you how to use a little adapter like this one to kind of connect your iphone without relying on your wi-fi or on your network simply use an hdmi cable and that's gonna be more reliable and the video should be right here so go ahead and check it out and i will see you there